Okay, I'm back. I've got a little bit of work done. I guess I'm in a video making mood right now, but uh, as you can see, I've got some stuff done on my pile of the debris here. And uh, I'm going to take this off the thing, but uh, I've fashioned a piece of styrofoam here. And what I did is I just uh, squared it off at the bottom and just uh, cut out a square and that will glue right in there. And that'll serve as my wall. I'm going to cut it down far enough where I can have a guy propped up on it with an MG or something anyway. But, uh, yeah, let me take this off real quick. I've been cutting this, and, and uh, I've been in remiss. I have not shown you another cool little feature on cutting this uh, stuff. Anyway, uh, when you do cut your, uh, your, your bricks out and everything, and, and uh, you're doing your 90 degrees and everything... Um, I have uh, forgot to tell you that uh, after you get your your uh, your first cut and your second cut done, and then you do is you cap off either side of the brick, which you can do. Also, sorry, I'm trying to get this where I can operate it. Anyway, uh, another easy way to do to define your brick is to uh, let me see if I can find a good one here. Um, yeah, right here. Okay, say if you want to trim that up right there, you uh, basically, I, I eyeball it, but basically what you want to do is you want to sink that blade in and snap it out. See, that uh, squared it up, and then you can cap it, flick out, and then uh, cap it again, flick out. See, so that basically defines your brick, and like right here also, you want to kind of eyeball your brick there and what I do is and then I'll do is I'll, I'll flick it I'll, I'll flick my wrist a little bit this way to flick the blade out and that look at that that'll just get you a brick there and you can do the on the end cap here as well so you can do the same thing that gets you a, an entire brick so you can do the same thing here you can line up your blade there I do is cut there, but anyway, but you just flick out, flick out. There you go. Anyway, but that's just another thing I do when I'm trying to define my brickwork here. Is uh, I'll uh, well, get this up here a little further. Okay. So another another brick here. I wanna I wanna kind of size up a little bit, and uh, I'll do is I'll I'll eyeball it. Now that's about the depth of a brick there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, bury this blade a little bit and then flick out. See? There you go. That'll at least get your, your brick defined. And then you can take your blade and you can scratch out. And that's the cool thing about this, this white styrofoam. You can, you can uh, just pick at it, scrape at it, break it up, and it still has a really good contour uh, texture of rubble and dirt so uh, anyway but that's another uh, little helping hint here see how I've got that brick there I'm gonna I'm gonna just get it where it's uh, about the, the depth of a brick and again bury that blade about an eighth of an inch and just flick it out see flick it out I'm gonna finish that one out here but flick it out There you go. See, you got a nice little brickwork there. But anyway, but that's uh, that's the start of it. And it really doesn't look like anything because it's so white. And there's no points of reference or anything. But once the primer goes on, I mean, it, the primer is going to make the rubble pop. Even in the uh, 1 16th scale, I was able to cut a bunch of little brick in there. And once you get the primer on, that detail is just going to pop out. And then you can actually, you know, it, you can actually sand this because the primer actually permeates the, the foam and it makes it hard. So you can sand it, rework it, whatever you want to do. Anyway, but that's a, that's another brick uh, spiel there. So I'm going to continue on with my brick work. I've still got another 40 minutes to work, so i got to have something for you guys since I've uh, drugged you this far. So uh, anyway, I'm uh, going to go back at it.